In today's segment, I wanted to talk about exercises that you could do for the busy person that doesn't have a whole lot of time. Okay, so the first exercise, it's kind of a full body routine. So with one exercise. So I'm gonna assume that you've warmed up properly. Like if you went on a treadmill for five minutes or something and then stretch your whole body. So you stretch your lats, um, you stretch your, your back and your chest and your quads and your hamstrings and glutes. And now you're ready to go. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a weight. Whether it's a weight, you can do this at home. Grab a weight or a kettlebell or, uh, I don't know, a 25 pound sack of flour or a small child. Anyway, you're gonna grab it in your hands and you squat down, in, inhale on the way down. So inhale and exhale and go up. And inhale and exhale and go up. And this works your um, cardiovascular, actually. You really get your heart going. As well as it works your, your uh, chest, your back, your triceps, deltoids, quads, hamstrings, glutes, abs, lower back, pretty much works out. So that's the first exercise. Yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lean on this ball. Um, for sake of ease at home, you can use an exercise ball like this, or you can use an ottoman, the, I don't know, kitchen, kitchen chair. You're going to lean on this ball and exhale and inhale. Again, you exhale on exertion, inhale on the easy part. And again, you're going to do maybe one set to start if you haven't done a whole lot of weight training before. And then the second time, if you're not sore two days later, then that means that next time you work out, you can do two sets of each. And then you can work up to three or four sets of each. And if you're doing one right after the other, I would do three sets of exercises, then stop and have a break, a little drink, and have a minute break. And then three sets of exercises, and then a break, three sets of exercises. If you do that three or four times, it takes you 15 minutes. It's a great workout in 15 minutes. All right, so we work most of our body parts just in those last two exercises. The last one, we're gonna do a little bit for abdominals. And I really like this one using the exercise ball because it, uh, it works your abdominals in, in more than in just one linear, linear way. So the idea is that you're, you go against gravity and you go slowly. For the people that go like this and do 100 crunches, it's really not gonna do a whole lot because you're not going against gravity very much. And um, often they'll have a basis of support like this or their feet against the wall. That doesn't help any because it defeats the purpose of the ball. The ball is to, to, is to provide instability. So let's have an unstable environment and we're gonna go start here level with the floor and we're going to go up against gravity, exhale as it go, inhale down, so you're level with the floor again, and up against gravity again. And if you're sitting up each time, that defeats the purpose again because you're not going against gravity. This is not going against gravity, this is. So from here to here, make sure you're a little bit unstable. If you want to make it harder, you just make it more unstable. And if you think you're going to fall off the ball, then you're doing it right. If you're really stable, you're doing it wrong. So. Anyway, you can do 15 or 20 of those. And so we did the plate raises first, then we did those one arm rows, and, and the sit-ups on the ball. You do, do those three exercises, and you do them back to back, have a break, take a drink. Then you do another set, back to back, take a break, have a drink. And you can do three, four sets of those, 15 minutes, great workout.